Ladies, it's time to change our image. They think we're stupid. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. It's time for us as women, especially black women, to change our image. Case and point, Kamala Harris had a rally and who did she invite to perform? Megan Thee Stallion. I don't care about how you feel about Megan Thee Stallion as far as her talent or whatever you think she has. I mean the imagery. As women, especially black women, I'm going to talk to us for a little bit. We have displayed this imagery that all we consist of is bundles of hair and ass meat. And that is not who we are. I'm sorry. I have to say exactly what it is. We are more than just the backside. We are more than just you know, the women that, you know, can twerk and bend over. We are women of substance. And I think as women, as we begin to lean more into our femininity, into our spirituality, into our understanding of what a woman truly is, I think we need to forego the imagery of the city girl concept. I'm not saying that you can't be that girl in your everyday life. I'm not saying that you can't have moments of sensuality and show that in your house with your husband, with your man, by yourself. But what I'm saying is that it's time for us to forego that imagery that all we consist of is twerking and tweaking and acting crazy. A lot of times when we carry ourselves that way, that is the way other cultures will treat us. Why do you think a lot of these politicians, when it comes time to, you know, get the black vote, they resort to getting rappers, entertainers. But when you look at other cultures and when you look at speeches they give, you know, these TED Talks and these different type of conferences they'll have, they don't invite entertainers that are going to bend over and flip their backside all which away. They invite renowned speakers, political activists and all these different types of people. But when it comes to us, they will go and get the Meg Thee Stallions, the Amber Roses, and whoever else. And I'm not saying the Cardi B. I'm not saying these other people that they're not worthy of having a voice too. But why them? When it comes to us, when it comes to us, why did they choose them? And I think sometimes as black people, I'm going to speak to us for a little bit as black women they we don't understand what's in plain sight we don't see what's in plain sight they're saying that we're stupid and i think when we realize that we will work harder as a collective to change our imagery when you're speaking to me about something as serious as politics or anything else for that matter i don't need a reference to a rapper of some sort in order for me to understand what you're saying. And this is the reason why I speak to women about femininity and the way they carry themselves as women. I don't think you need to be the type of woman who can identify with street culture in order to be well known in order to have a voice, especially as a black woman, like we can think on a higher level. We can have higher spirituality. We can have, you know, higher education. But if you carry yourself like you live in the pits and you can only identify with pit culture, people will continue to speak to you and to address you in that way. If I would have been in that Kamala Harris, uh, that, that uh, rally she had, the moment Meg Thee Stallion came out, I would have got up and left. Because to me, that is equivalent to being in a neighborhood where you ever go to a neighborhood, like if you live in a city and you might live in the hood, hey, it is what it is. And in other cities, when you go like to different shopping malls and centers, you see they're building up a new Whole Foods, they're building up a new giant, they're building up, you know, these, uh, you know, moms, you know, these organic markets. But then you come into the hood and what do you see? liquor store daycare hair supply store liquor store daycare hair supply store liquor store market daycare hair supply store what is that telling you what is that saying it's like that subliminal messaging like we have to really talking about being woke 
it's time for us to wake up. And I promise you that this message is about the image of black women and about women in general and not allowing savage, weird, nasty, toxic culture to influence the type of women we are. Even, um, who is that, Sexy Red? She just came out with a new product line, which this does not surprise me because of her music, but the names of some of these items she has, these lip glosses, I'm not even going to repeat the name of the lip glosses, but they're nasty. And any woman who would put something, even name that on her lips, I'm not, look, as far as business goes with entertainment, you have to get it every way you can in business when you're an entertainer in that field. I understand that completely. However, just because you can doesn't really mean that you should. And when you are a woman that it, it has class and it's not just about money, but you do care about your self-image, your dignity, your respect as a woman, you're not going to do and act the way she does. And some people like to say, you know, it's just entertainment. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of women don't know that. A lot of women really look up to, believe it or not, they look up to Sexy Red. They look up to that entertainer. I don't know who she is as a person in her everyday life. I don't know who she is. But that imagery that's out in the forefront, there are some women who are gullible enough to look up to that image. I'm not talking about her personally because I know we like to look for little ways to justify things. I'm talking about her as that entertainer. And when you put this imagery out there and women are not wise enough to understand that it's just entertainment, I don't know why you want to be entertained by that, but it's just entertainment, it's just an image, you will carry that over into your personal life and try to become that. And that's where the way people see us, our imagery changes. We're walking around talking about my rich baby daddy this and all this other stuff. If you're not married to your baby daddy and you got to chase him down to get money, that's nothing to be proud of. You know, and I'm just saying that to say that don't let this culture jade you. And talking about being woke, I don't believe the whole woke thing, but being woke really is knowing when somebody is playing in your face. And I think as black women, it's time for us to wake up and realize that many people are playing in our faces and we're playing right into it. Where we have that, they don't mean no harm. They just trying to be in the culture. They No, a lot of our culture, especially black culture, I'm gonna say what it is, it's trash. A lot of it is trash. African-American people, people of color, we have done a lot of great things. And instead of highlighting those great things, what is happening, especially when it comes to women, everything that is negative, hyper provocative about women is being hyped up. And the things that are being done that women are actually being more classy, more gracious, they're marrying, they're taking care of children, they're doing these different things. Those are kind of on the back burner. Nobody wants to hear about that. But oh, She's divorcing her fifth husband, taking him to court. We want to hear about that. How did you fight the power by being on the front lines and fighting for this cause? Like, that's what they want to see for us. And as a black woman, I'm, me personally, I don't want anything to do with that because I want to look at myself in the same way that a lot of these other cultures do. A lot of these other cultures, especially the women, they look at themselves as dainty, beautiful little flowers that don't need to deal with all that disgustiness, filthiness, toxicity, and overly masculine behavior. They let the men be the men and do all that dirty work and they're home, being soft, raising children, quietly, gently, building up their businesses. A lot of these wives who are married to these high power men a lot of times you don't even realize that they have their own things because they're just the, the eye candy. You'll see them on their arm and then you do a little research on the wife. She got her own business. She's a mother. She's home just quietly winning while we're out here being entertainment for people who don't like us anyway. It's time for us to take change the imagery as black women. And I know I said a mouthful and my channel, I will always reiterate this. 
This channel is all things woman. So it's for every type of woman, not just black women. But sometimes I will speak directly to us because I am passionate about us specifically changing our imagery since, since society is so admin about keeping us in this imagery where we are looked at as the provocative symbols. We are the warrior women. We are the ones who can bear all, take all, deal with all, and we will make ourselves look messy for any dollar amount that you will offer. It is time for us to change that imagery. And I am very passionate about that and I make no apologies for it. So if you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comments section. I absolutely love to see it. And I have a book, How to Be a Feminine Woman, The Blueprint. If you are interested in that, I will leave the link in the description box below. Ladies, it is time for us to change our image, especially as black women. You have other cultures who act and deal with the same things, but let's be real. We're not going to be naive and we're not going to pass the buck and say they do it too. But who's being more exploited when it comes to these things? It is us. And it's time for us to change that. All right. Take care. Hit the like button and share this content. I know it hurt. But this is the truth and we do truth here in a feminine, classy way. Take care.